Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Jones. I promised you in a previous video that I would share with you my comprehension costumes. Now, I can't take credit for this idea. This came from a, a book I read years ago, um, and I've just, through the years, collected all these different costumes. And there's a character to go with each one of them who introduces a new comprehension strategy. So I thought I'd share with you some of the things that I have, and uh, hopefully that inspires you to go out and be dramatic and fun with your students. So I want to start out with this hat with the arrow po poking through it. This is Festus. And Festus is, uh, teaches the kids about the main idea. The main I and when, you, when you get the main idea, you get straight to the point. Yeah, I know. Bad joke. <laughs> All right, right here, this lovely psychedelic moo moo. This was my mother's um, in all its psychedelic glory <coughs> from the 60s. And this actually goes with it. This is Madame Babushka. And Madame Babushka teaches students to predict like a crystal ball, like looking into the crystal ball. So there's her crystal ball, her fancy beads. Um, and then over here we have um, Sam the Connector, and this is a construct, well I think it's actually a hunting vest, but I meant it to be like a construction vest. And these are just some linking toys that my kids had when they were little, and so I teach kids how a connector links things together, makes connections among um, ideas and uh, among different books and movies. Um, right here is the my Swedish chef, here's his chef hat and his spoon. And the chef teaches the strategy of synthesis. Um, mixing up the parts of a story and then coming up with your own sorts of ideas. Right here, this is one of those cheap mics. Let me hold it up. You can make it sound really, really cool, like you're an announcer type. So this is for, uh, this is Michaela on the mic. Michaela on the mic is a talk show host. She's a talk show host. Um, sometimes I put a clip on tie on and he asks crazy questions of everybody. He's constantly questioning. So how are you today? And then he holds up the microphone to the kids. <laughs> so there's no electronics or anything. It's kind of cool. Um, and then the big sunglasses represent monitoring and clarifying. So the idea of looking carefully at what you're reading and then having, knowing when you're having problems and then um, coming up with strategies to, um, to help you. And um, usually I use this uh, magnifying glass for vocabulary strategies. And my last one over here, this is just my graduation robes, which happen to be black, and a gavel, just plastic gavel. And this is evaluation, evaluating, judging, making decisions based on the information in your text. So I hope this has helped you to get some ideas on ways you can make teaching reading strategies a little more fun for your students. TTFN, ta-ta for now.